took a jury a little over a week to find one of the most powerful politicians in North Texas not guilty on seven counts, including bribery and mail fraud. They deadlocked on four tax counts against him, including conspiracy to defraud the IRS. His assistant, Daphne Fain, was also found not guilty on tax charges and lying to the FBI. Jack Fink live in Dallas with what's next and the legal reaction. Jack? Well, Gilma and Ken, federal agents and prosecutors spent seven years pursuing criminal charges against John Wiley Price. So former United States Attorney Matt Orwig says the verdicts today certainly stung the government. Uh, you know, there's no way to sugarcoat it. It is a stunning loss for the government. Uh, I'm sure a huge disappointment for them. And now prosecutors face two very important decisions in the next four weeks. First, will they retry the case against Commissioner Price on the four tax counts jurors deadlocked on? And second, will they still want to prosecute Price's consultant, Kathy Neely, who was charged with funneling nearly $1 million in cash, land, and cars to Price? U.S. Attorney John Parker says he and his team will be meeting to discuss this. Orwig says it will be challenging for prosecutors to consider retrying price on the tax counts. Well, that's going to be a very tough decision for the government because on one hand, those are the very strongest counts that they have. On the other hand, uh, this was not a comfortable experience for them. Now that Commissioner Price was found not guilty of that conspiracy, it's going to be more difficult to say that there's a strong case against her. Now, if the government still wants to take Neely to trial, the judge is first going to have to decide whether Neely is immune from prosecution because that was part of an old deal she made with prosecutors during the Don Hill corruption trial. It was a deal that was never put in writing. Live in Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.